Look how good they look. She's not a Singapore Blue, only he is. She's called a Platinum Angel. Added to the tank at midnight on Saturday. It's Thursday evening now. G'day guys, Jason here. Welcome back to my fish room. So in this week's video, we're actually going to be going over to my cousin Adam's house. And we're gonna be looking at the progress he's made with breeding some angelfish. So let's get into this week's video. They've only been in the tank for about five minutes and they're already settled down. The last one's behind the sponge filter. This is a group of four. One on the left looks larger than this one. Hopefully it's male, female. Hopefully I'll get a pair out of these. Looking nice, very friendly. And then the pair, I literally just put them in a minute ago and look, they already look pretty settled. I let him in first and he swam up to her back that was floating straight away. Hopefully they settle in. While I've been in here watching, they've been cleaning the tile together. He was coming over and helping them too. Oh, well, he's cleaning over there now. So, she's not a Singapore Blue, only he is. She's called a Platinum Angel. But I'm not really worried. Um, because if they do spawn and I get fry, well then it'll give me two colours. So, so, yeah, you can see, look at her positive. <laughs> How big it is, and his little thing is sticking out too. So, yeah, hopefully, they will spawn for me soon. Hopefully, and up here, pretty sure I got a pair here, and they're keeping the other two hiding in the corner. Um, it looks like they're, they're a positive, it's starting to come out. So, yeah, they're a bit young, but I don't know if they've ever spawned before, probably not. Take a long way. Added to the tank at midnight on Saturday. It's Thursday evening now. Here's a female. You can see her ovipositor. He's getting bigger. Is her male. And as you can see, they're keeping the other two angels hidden in this corner behind that tile. That's the tile that they've been cleaning over there on the other side of the tank. So hopefully I'll get my methyl blue delivered before they spawn. So then once they do lay, I'm going to pull the tile, put the eggs in it and hatch them myself. These guys are still looking good. Look at the blue on him. He's looking really good. So all the research I've done suggests that they leave about 14 days in between spawns. So we'll see. He's already yeah. See, he's already cleaning the tile, and I've seen her cleaning it as well this morning. So hopefully I can keep him in condition. And then I will be pulling this one as well, the next one that they that they lay. See, look how they're courting. They give each other little pecks. They like uh, lip lock a little bit. Really hope I can successfully breed and raise a big clutch of these guys. Gonna lay any minute now. Any minute. I'd be surprised if they don't lay tonight. <coughs> I reckon it's coming, yeah. Within the next 10 15 minutes. I can't believe how many she's laid. I literally, this is about 10 minutes 
after I took that first video. Told you they'd be going at it any minute now. He's nice, eh? Hey? There's tons of them already. There she goes. Maybe I've got to be too close, eh? Hey? Well, this tile's not staying in here tonight. Here's an update, how the angels and everything look. So that's the pair, I just pulled the other two odd ones out. So I believe that is male, that is female. The first time they spawned, they spawned on that tile. Eggs, they looked after them for almost 24 hours and they ate them. And that's the tile they spawned on the other night where they laid some, ran away, came back, ate them, laid more, ran away. It's a truck. Long fin bristle nose. This is the pair of angels that I have the fry for at the moment. So they've spawned on this tile both times. And here's the other two smoky blue angels that I, I just moved them into this tank like five minutes ago. Because this little one was getting picked on, or you can see from the tail of the fins, they were picking on a bird. Pretty sure that one's a male. Let's hope this one's a female. And I, Put one tile in here for them. So here's the tray that I put the angelfish fry in. So it's just a clear like tray storage container thing. So what I did was I drilled a hole that fits the uplift intake tube from the breeder box in it, nice and snug. I drilled some holes to put some screws as arms so that it sits above the tank and then I drilled a couple of holes there and put sponge in it so that the water can overflow so fry so I did find maybe five or six dead this morning um, but I don't know with a spawn this size I'm hoping that that's just kind of natural attrition um, the majority of them do seem to be happy and active and I can see their bellies grow. Oh, so that's a bristlenose spawn that got kicked out. I chucked it in here. They look like they're ready to hatch soon. Yeah, so I've been feeding the bristlenose, ah, uh, the brine shrimp. That's why there's so much crap in here. I've been feeding brine shrimp, microworms, and crushed flakes. So what I do is I go around and suck up a lot of the waste with the syringe to give it a bit of a clean. So yeah, that's what's going on. I just put two brucinos into this tank because it's getting quite a bit of algae. So hopefully they don't worry them and then they still spawn. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the male. Here's the female. Very nice. This is the exact color morph that I wanted so I can't believe that they came through exactly when I had this tank ready. Looking good, eh? Just walked in, saw this. New Smokies. In preparation for these angel eggs, which I can see a few of them with little tails wiggling from this pair. Two trays, perfect size. Two of them fit on here, on one side of a three footer. So those eggs are going to come in here, above their parents' tank. Look how good they look. Yeah, so same kind of thing. Put screws on the sides as legs. Drill a hole for the intake. So this is John's just filling up. And I put a lot more holes because 
On the other one, I only put two holes, and so that's restricting the flow. I want to have increased flow, so I've just put more holes in with sponges. So this one, I haven't drilled the holes for yet, but yeah, two of them, they fit perfectly. So I think I'm going to buy a couple more. Pretty handy. Both pairs laid. Same day. That tile's got algae on it, can't see as good, but oh, they're still spawning now. The same day. And these blue smokies there. Batch is just ready now for me to move. Now they're starting to swim around in the bucket. So, the timing. Probably can do both of these eggs together, spawns together. So there you have it guys, Adam's progress with his brand new angelfish. Can't believe how quickly he managed to spawn them. It's really good to see. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, comment and consider subscribing to the channel. I really would appreciate it. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this video up now. Thanks heaps for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.